Hello, good morning. I pray that your Monday was filled with spaces and places of joy, of peace, of happiness. But let me get straight to our topic. <clears throat> you're okay, you're not okay, and that's okay. Let me say it again. You're okay, you're not okay, and that's okay. This past week has been filled with so much stuff. And on top of all of 2020, we had more stuff. Folk acting a fool, as they used to say, just acting a complete fool. And you know, sometimes in our lives when folk act a fool, it's, you know, on them. It's them being foolish. But sometimes there are times when people are acting a fool and there are implications that that really question our own safety, that really question our own governance, that really question our own sense of well-being. And that's what last week was like for a lot of us, particularly those of us who live in these disunited states of America. And I'll say that again, these disunited states of America, because we are not united. And no, this is not a political video, so I invite you to continue to listen. What I am trying to say is that as we have gone through the events of last week, as we are transitioning to um, new persons in charge, we find ourselves viewing things that most of us have never seen or experienced before in our lifetime. I read somewhere we are in a history-making era. And I, I have a degree in history, and I love history. But rarely had I considered that I would be living the history, which is a whole different thing. And so we find ourselves in a place, or maybe I should make it personal, I find myself in a place where I'm okay. There are a lot of good things that are happening in my life right now. There's a lot of ways that I'm finding meaning in my life. I'm healthy, my body's good, it's getting better. I'm enjoying conversations, loads of things. I am blessed. I'm okay. But then I'm not okay. As 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 I as I unless I chose to be an ostrich and keep my head in the sand, there's no way you can avoid some of the challenges that are happening in life. There are people who are whose unemployment has run out. There are people who are struggling to figure out how to pay their bills. There's people who are, can we be real? Um, I knew a couple of people who had had COVID, but that circle is getting smaller and smaller. I now know a couple of people who are basically healthy people who've just shared that they have COVID. Now, the praise the Lord, hallelujah moment is that they're recovering, but they have talked about their symptoms. And so when I think about, you know, how COVID, someone said that they um, have to interact with the world and they did not get COVID, but their older relative who tries to be perfectly safe did get COVID. And that is cause to raise at least my anxiety because I try really hard to be very safe, to practice good protocol, only to hear that even people who are doing that are finding themselves um, dealing with this, 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 this enemy to our body, this enemy to our society. And then we have this civil unrest, this insurrection. And, you know, I thought I was doing well. I thought I was just saying, oh, these folk are acting a fool. This is awful. Until I learned that four people had died. Until I learned that there are plans to continue this egregious behavior between now and inauguration. And, and, and I, I instantly went into prayer. I instantly began to pray for this country. I began to pray for individuals. I began to pray. And then I went to sleep. And guess what? I did not have a good night's sleep last night. And, and I was wondering, why am I tossing and turning? What is going on? 
And when I woke up this morning and I had some quiet time, I realized, you know what? That's what's been in the recesses of my mind. You know, I can I can pray all I want to, I can chant all I could want to, I can work it out, I can exercise, but I am human. And that's why I said, you're okay. You're not okay. And that's okay. Sometimes we have to simply become okay with the fact that we can encompass two different sets of feelings within our being at the exact same time. The key is simply to accept the fact that we are human, that it's not going to always be a kumbaya, zoom, zen moment. But when we find ourselves in spaces and places that are where our anxiety raises, when we find ourselves in spaces and places where we our depression gets deeper, that we first need to acknowledge it. We need not put a judgment on it, just acknowledge it. And then begin to look at what is the source of it. Can I identify where this is coming from? And once we've done those two things, then here's the, I guess, more challenging part is to allow yourself to sit with it. Not try to avoid it, not try to eat it away, not try to drink it away or sex it away or gamble it away, but sit with those feelings. Allow yourself to feel what you're feeling. And I guarantee you, at some point, those feelings will pass because feelings are not fact. At some point, you will get to the place where you can say, but what do I have control over? And when you recognize the pieces you have control over, then take control. And for the pieces that you don't have control over, let it go. You know, my prayer for each and every one of us is that we will all continue to intentionally seek balance in our life. Balance, if you remember, seesaw, I used to call it teeter-totter. You know, one end would be up if someone was sitting in it and no one else, you know, or one or the other end would be up. Balance is when both people were able to be equal, when it was balanced. And that's what we want with our mental health. We want to be balanced, recognizing that there will be times where sometimes we're up and sometimes we're down. But it's okay. It's okay, it's a part of life, it's a part of what we go through. Our task is to seek balance, to give thanks for all those things that are going well. And if we don't think anything is going well, take some time to think about it, because it can be as simple as you woke up this morning with breath and activity in your body. You woke up with yet another opportunity as they say, to be on this side of the dirt. And some of you may say, well, I don't even like that. But you know what? I'm glad that you're on this side of the dirt. I'm glad that you have breath in your body. I'm glad that you have another opportunity to enjoy some of the things that life can offer. Yes, there are challenges. Yes, there are bad things. Yes, there are situations that we have never experienced before. But guess what? If we focus on balance, if we focus on not getting too, you know, um, on either side, too depressed, too anxious, or, you know, the other side of it is just being totally oblivious to everything, being, being so heavenly bound with no earthly good, <laughs> we want to aim for balance. And with that, I'm going to close. I love you all. And again, you're okay. You're not okay. And that's okay. I'm okay. Sometimes I'm not okay. And that's okay. Love you. Bye-bye.